सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन टू डेज वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू अनदर सीनारियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्ट इन द पावर बे इंटरव्यू एट वन ऑफ द एम एनसीज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू मी बाय वन ऑफ अर सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड ही वॉन्टेड अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस so i thought to create a video on this so that so that all of us get familiar with this kind of scenario and so if it is asked in your power bi interviews you can easily answer it in front of the interviewer okay so let's start with the scenario and before that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos okay so as you can see on the screen the interviewer gave this data okay these three columns that is employee id employee name and salary we have five records employee names a b c d e and their respective salary 100 10 50 30 16 and then he asked to create a measure with name as result and it should give the result as this 0 90 50 70 40 40 so first of all we have to think how this number is coming 0 90 50 70 40 40 40 so if you will analyze every record is being subtracted or every salary is being subtracted from 100 which is present in our first row i hope the scenario is clear to you now how we are getting this result 0 90 50 70 40 40 Now let us see how we can create a measure to obtain such kind of result from from the given data set. Okay, now let me go to my Power BI report. So I have already pulled the same data here: employee ID, employee name, total salary. Total salary is just the sum of uh, the salary column that we have. Okay, so this is a simple measure that is total salary. Now we have to create another measure with with the name as result. Now let us see how we can create that. So I will write the name as result. Okay, so first of all we have to think that. how we can get salary 100 in all the records of the table once we get 100 in all the records of the table then we can easily subtract it with the total salary measure and then we can get our required output so now we will know how we can get that 100 in all the records of the table so for that what i will do i will make use of calculate function here then my expression will be total salary okay that is this total salary once i am done with this my second argument will be my filter expression and that filter expression is what i will make use of here index function okay so before using index function let me show you what does it tell on microsoft documentation i have already opened it for you so if you will see index function here so it returns a row at an absolute position specified by the position parameter within the specified partition and sorted by the spe specified order and if you can see the syntax we have position we have relation and then we have other optional parameters like arguments like order by blank and partition by so here we will only focus on these two parameters that is position and relation that is only required for our problem because order by blanks and partition by we can ignore it for now because already the data is in ascending order and we have only one a uh, single partition so we don't have to define these arguments we only have to focus on position and relation okay and as you can see it returns a row at an absolute position remember this point specified by the position parameter now let us go to back to our report so i will here make use of index function the first parameter will be the position so our uh, 100 is present in our first record right so that is the absolute position so i will give it as 1 here okay after giving 1 we have to define the second argument that is relation if i go back here and if you can see here relation is this it is a table expression from which the output is returned okay so for that what you will do table expression is required here so what i will do i will make use of here all selected function here i will you can make use of all also but i am making use of all selected both the functions will work here and it is just for ignoring the filter context that is already present okay so here since i have two more columns that is employee name and employee id i will define both of them here so e name so e name is there so this is my first argument a uh, first column and then the e uh, id right so this is my id both the columns we can define under all selected now i will close the bracket for all selected then i will close the bracket for index and then finally for calculate okay so i hope it is clear to you now so here through this particular dax code we are retrieving 100 in all the records let us see if this if this works out for us or not okay let me pull this result column in our table so now i am pulling this result measure that we have created and let us see the result so as you can see here our first job is completed we are getting 100 in all the records of the table now the, now our next job is to subtract this 100 from this total salary column and once we will subtract 100 minus 10 will give us 90 similarly it will give us 50 then 70 then 40 okay that is what we require in the output so what i will do i will modify this measure further and let us see how we can do that okay so what i will do i will put this under a variable okay 
i will name it as uh, <coughs> first record okay so our first record is this now we have to create another variable okay and we will name it as difference okay difference is equal to the first variable that is first record okay so this minus the total salary right so this is our total salary that we have already created so what it is doing it is subtracting the result that we are getting with the total salary and the once it is done return me the difference right so this is my difference i hope it is clear to you now what we are doing here we are just subtracting with the total salary now let us see what does the result comes out to be is it correct or not so if i'll minimize this and see the result let us see see the required result we are getting here now 0 90 50 70 and 40 and this is what we required right so this scenario can be easily implemented if you are knowing about this index function and if you know any other way to implement this scenario please let us know in the comment box okay i hope everything is clear to you now so do share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.